Hello, uh, today I'm uh, here with a new project. So what I want to do is uh, I will be rewriting MQTT Studio uh, from scratch with different technologies. So you might ask what is MQTT Studio? Uh, it's a project of mine um, that I built like a year ago using uh, different technologies. And I decided to come back it again and, you know, make a rewrite. Re so let me quickly explain what it does. It's a, um, a dashboard builder that you can use it for your IoT projects that uses uh, MQTT protocol to communicate. So it runs on the client's uh, browser with uh, its built with React, so it runs on your browser. So what you can do is uh, you can create like dashboards like this. Um, and each dashboard contains multiple widgets, like um, text widgets, uh, charts, buttons, inputs, and indicators. And also you can uh, update the widgets uh, however you want, and you can reorder them, change their uh, position, change their values. So it's technically connects to an uh, MQTT broker and depending on the widgets, it uh, connects to a specific channel that you defined and gets or sends value. It's basically what it does in a uh, pretty styled way. So this time I don't want it to rely on the client. I want a server that handles the connection and the UI that um, allows us to work with. And instead of uh, client-side rendering like React, I want to use server-side rendering. And for the server, I am thinking to use Golang and it will just return HTML. Maybe I can use HTMX to try it. Uh, if JavaScript is needed, I will just use vanilla JavaScript because it's enough for us. Um, so that's the project that I want to do. So I just did some preparation before starting. Um, what I think is, um, you know, I want to use Golang uh, for the database. On the older version, I am using uh, Firebase to store the data and authentic authentication stuff. This time I want to use SQLite because it's not a, um, you know, super crowded or, you know, super in-demand project. So SQLite will enough. And I will be using HTMX and Tailwind for the styling. So that's what I am thinking. And, you know, here's the flow and it's pretty similar to the older one. We have a landing page like this to explain what the product is doing. And we will have an authentication like login, register. And then after that, after we authenticate it, we can manage our projects, we can see our project projects list. And each project contains some connection information, name, uh, etc. And if you go and jump in a project, you will have your dashboard like this. And inside dashboard, you can work with widgets, edit them, add new one. And also you can establish or disconnect uh, from MQTT broker. And this time the connection will be handled by the server itself instead of um, the browser. And if you have time, uh, as a bonus, I am thinking to add collaboration like you can add people to the project so and they will have permissions you know i can have a project that i edit my friend and he can only just view the widgets not edit them maybe that's they say uh, pretty uh, common use case so it will be great to have a collaboration but it's not a must uh, for this project so and you know we will have pages that i uh, as i explained so what I did on the coding, so I just initialized an empty Golang project and um, I just glued together the features like database, um, routing, 
and the temple. Uh, yeah, I will also use the temple, go temple for the templates. So what we have is uh, we have the commands, handlers, models and views. Inside the commands, I just have a main.go file. Um, it has a main function that um, first initialize the database connection. Uh, it creates the test.db file, if not exists. If it exists, it will be using that. And for that, I uh, am using the Metan Go SQLite 3 package from GitHub. And I just run migrations. And these are not like uh, Laravel like migrations, it just uh, executes SQL queries uh, without, you know, checking is this migration executed before. And it's closed data bus connection. And we have um, Echo as a router routing library. Um, and I'm creating the Echo. And I defined for now the project routes. Like we have get request to projects to list the projects uh, that's already available. And the form for creating a new project. And the post uh, route to handle the create request for a new project. And I'm just starting the project on the port 2000. And for the handler. We have a uh, project.go file under handlers. And I have a basically a struct um, type for this. Uh, why I did that is I can easily define it and add um, all my related handlers to that. And I will just call it on the main.go. And I can just um, reach out to its function. And also with that, they can easily access the database instead of um, each time we giving it the database parameter like this. So in the index, what we do is um, with a SQL query, we just get um, the available projects and we are converting them to our models, which is project model in here. And then we just send all the projects as an array to the view. Uh, let me show the view, which is in here, index the temple. Um, I did not set up the syntax highlight highlighting for the temple files, but it's uh, just a Go file, if you think like that. So what it does is we have a temple, and um, I call the template index. So that's why we have index here. And what it's request is um, I am requiring it to have projects parameter. This array of projects models, and then I have a base layout which is like you know the HTML uh, head and body tags, the base layout that we have to do not repeat uh, code uh, same code blocks. So it just uh, loops through each project and um, just displays the name of the project. And okay, so and we have the create root which is just um, simple form that again uses the base layout and uh, it is just requesting uh, name um, field this time and it's uh, post this to again the same name but in a different uh, methods so and what I, I did is I just get the form value of name and I just inserted it into the projects uh, table and then I just uh, typed hit to the screen that's what I did, and to the main goal is for this uh, moment is to glue together the parts. Then I will continue to build up on that. Maybe I can show you how it looks. I can start it with air commands. It's already running. Maybe I can use it. So, which is localhost two thousands. We get message not found because I did not define the uh, roots uh, roots. So if you go to the projects, we had two different projects now. Let us create a new one. Can uh, another project? If I click save, I just see and hit. If you go back to the projects, we should be able to see our project. So 
it is working and you see the base layout text that means um, we are using the layout elements and I am using air uh, library air program to automatically sync uh, changes without reopening uh, the goal link each time and also um, when you work with the temple files you have to run temple generates temple generates to compile all temple files into go files that's why uh, we have uh, go files along with temple files inside the views that's what is it right now and in the coming uh, updates I will be working on the core URLs and maybe some of the styling.